Catherine University softball team was still looking for their breakthrough moment. The Bulldogs had competed regularly in the regional round of the NCAA playoffs in five of the past six seasons and were one win away from advancing in the past two. This year was a different story. With their 5-4 victory over Birmingham Southern College last Sunday, TLU had clinched the program's first ever berth in the Super Regional. And this week was all about making history. And here's the windup. Chopped over to third. And the 5-3 is there. And that will end this round robin. It was a very emotional day on Sunday, especially for me and for all of us, you know, to gather around that circle and, and to have a moment of just joy and happiness. And this is something we all dream of as little kids growing up. You know, we do have moments like this, big moments where we're able to shine in postseason and just keep playing. And for doing my senior year and to have this honor, it's just we're all counting our blessings to be one of the few teams in the nation that get this postseason honor. Fresh off the heels of the biggest victory in program history, the Bulldogs return to practice at Mork Softball Field in Seguin on Tuesday. Their only practice at home before departing for Oregon. We've had about 24 hours since we've been home, so it's just a whirlwind. Everyone's just running around trying to get packed for Oregon, so we really haven't had time to sit down and reflect on what's happening and what our new uh, next thing is, but we're super excited for it to, for it to get here. This program-defining milestone is a testament to the job this year's relatively small senior class has done. The team is great. They are great outside of softball as well as on the field. We have our leaders, the upperclassmen, and they have worked with the freshmen very well and taught us basically the fundamentals and how to acclimate. We haven't had any of the drama, and a lot of times when you have a lot of personalities, you have some fires to put on. They've done a good job of taking care of that. The Bulldogs' opponent in the Super Regional, Linfield College, a team that has two national titles on their resume. But the Bulldogs welcome that challenge and all of the new experiences it brings. We're going to face a team that's won a couple national championships, been in the World Series. Uh, they've been in the World Series here in the last five years, so it's going to be great competition and, and hopefully we can be, be prepared to play. Just to be in a new environment and get to experience it with my teammates. You know, they're my best friends. I love being with them. And so just to see the new place, get the new scenery, the new weather, just everything new. It's a new experience for all of it, especially me. I, I'm excited. Let's, let's go. <laughs> All right, here's a team picture on the charter flight to Portland, Oregon on Wednesday. The Bulldogs had no room to spare, one seat for every member of the team and coaching staff. The best of three Super Regional began on Friday. TLU won game one, six to five in 10 innings, and then gave up a late lead in the nine to seven game two loss. And after trading runs early Saturday evening, game three was postponed due to inclement weather. The game resumed this afternoon in the top of the fifth with both teams tied at two apiece. And it didn't take long for the Bulldogs offense to get on the board. Bottom six, two on, Kelly Jordan slaps a base hit into left. Cassie Maddox comes home to give TLU a 3-2 lead. The line just keeps on moving. Next batter up, Casey Martin knocks one through left side, just sneaking into the outfield. Sarah Metzer adds the lead. It's now 4-2. And then check this out. Following a walk, Linfield's pitcher steps out of the circle, so Jordan takes off from third and steals home. Heads up play from the sophomore. The Bulldogs win the game 5-2 in the series, two games to one. They advance to the first college World Series in program history. And the Bulldogs know who their first round opponent will be. They'll play Williams College Thursday at 2.30 p.m. at the University of Texas at Tyler.